program to perform arithmetical operations depending on the user's choice. So we'll display the choice to the user that is if user enters 1 then we'll perform an addition. If user enters choices and 2 will perform an subtraction, 3 for multiplication, 4 for division and only if user enters 5 we are going to terminate the program. So until user enters 5 we have to keep on asking what is the next choice. So first choice if he has given 1 then we will perform an addition and then again ask display the choice. If we give the choices and 4 then we are going to divide and then again display the choice. The program will never get terminated. Only when I enter the choices and 5 then the program has to be terminated. So in such a cases we need to compulsory use and do while. So I'll write the program and then explain you the main use of this do while. Why we can't use a while statement in this case. Here let's take up a main function. So we need to accept two numbers for that I'll take here n1 and n2 plus we need to accept the choice whether 1, 2, 3 that is 1 for addition, 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication the choice will be has to be accepted for that we'll declare one ch variable and we'll take a result variable for addition subtraction multiplication for all four i'll take a result as of type float or else for addition subtraction multiplication the result is going to be of type integer so in that case you can declare an result variable here i'll call that as an result i it is of type integer and this for division will declare the result variable of type float. Now take a do while loop. Now I cannot use a while loop and check whether the user has entered the choices and file. Okay, I have to come out of the loop. Okay, I have to come out of the loop only the choice is equals to file. Okay, if it is one, you have to accept two number, display the sum, and then again go back. If the number is three, you have to multiply. Uh, accept two number, multiply and then again go back. Only when, when it is given 5, that time you have to come out of this loop. Otherwise it has to keep on asking what is the next choice. So in that case, I have not accepted the choice at all here. Okay, the choice will be accepted within the loop. Because multiple times the choice has to be accepted. So that means I cannot check a condition with an while here while choice is not equal to 5 because choice is not entered. So in such a cases, we are going to go for an do loop. So here, without checking any condition, we'll ask the uh, we'll get into the loop and then ask the user to enter the choice here. That is, enter one for addition. That is, two for subtraction, three for multiplication, four division, and five is for exit. So we'll display this choice and then ask the user to enter any one number. It has to be between 1 to 5. If user has given a value other than this 1 to 5, then we have to display as an invalid choice. Invalid choice and then again ask him enter the correct choice. So we'll read an choice variable, ch variable. Okay. So if choice is 1, 2, 3, 4, then we have to accept two numbers and perform the arithmetical operation. But if it is 5, I shouldn't accept the number. So for that reason, I'll check here. If the choice is greater than or equal to 1 and choice is less than or equal to 4. If choice is between 1 to 4, in that case, I need to accept a no two numbers to perform the arithmetical operation. So in this case, I'll give here enter two numbers. Or enter data. So read as an integer by giving scanf percentage d percentage d ampersand of n1 ampersand of n2. Now why I have put this if statement is because if the choice is given as an 5 we need not accept two numbers. If choice is given as an 8, 8 is an invalid in that case also we shouldn't accept a number. So the choice, the number should be accepted only if choice is between 1 to 4. That can be achieved by using this if condition ch is greater than or equal to 1 and ch is less than or equal to 4 then you accept the number. And here you check what is the choice by using switch statement. Switch ch. 
If the choice is equals to 1, then you have to add. If choice is equals to 2, then you have to subtract. Okay. So for that, you take a case here, multiple case. If case is 1, okay, if case is 1, then you can go for result i is equals to n1 plus n2. And then if you want, you can display the result here. Printf. For all these multiple uh, case, you can have only one printf statement or else you can take a printf statement here itself. That is printf result is equals to percentage d that is an resi and then a break. If case is two, then result is equals to n1 minus n2 and display the result percentage d that is an result i and break for case 2. Same way, if case is 3, then here result is equals to n1 asterisk n2, then printf slash n percentage d result i and a break. If case is 4, 4 is an uh, division, so you can give here, I done a mistake here. So this should be an result i, variable name is in result i, here also it should be an result i. Whereas if it is in 4, it's going to be division, then you can give here result f is equals to, result f is equals to n1 asterisk. Now both are integer, then the result also will be an integer, any one should be converted to n float. So let's convert here n2 as n float. So I have to give here result f is equals to n1 asterisk float of n2 and then you display the result result is equals to percentage f and then give your res f and a break okay but if case is fine then it is an exit so in that case what we'll do is we'll just come out of the switch statement by giving an break but if it is not between if it is not between 1 to 5, then it is an invalid choice. So default will display a message as invalid choice. Close this switch and then close the do while loop. Okay. So here in the do while, I have to come out of this while loop only when the choice is equals to 5. If it is not equals to 5, you have to keep on asking the choice. So here you can give the condition here is ch value is not equals to and then close the main function. So now how it works is we are asking the user to enter the choice here. Okay. We are asking the user to enter the choice. If choice is given as 2, then 2 is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 4. True. Then it will accept two numbers. Comes and checks yes. Switch to ch. ch is 2 comes down. Result i is equals to n1 minus n2. Display the subtraction result and then break. When you say break, at the time it comes to this out of this switch and then check here. CH. CH is 2. 2 is not equals to 5. Then again goes back, again goes back and once again ask the user to enter the choice. So this keeps on doing it. When the choice is given as a 5, when the choice is given as 5, that time it comes out of the loop. It comes out of the loop, that be, uh, comes out of the switch first. And here it checks phi is not equal to phi, the condition is false, comes out of the loop and then stops the program. So this is the program to perform arithmetical operation. We'll try out this code in a code block. From here, uh, we are accepting the choice that this choice should be between 1 to 5. We are reading it as an integer. And check the condition choice if it is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 4. Enter two numbers. We are accepted here n1 and n2. And then after that, we will come and check here what is the choice.